The beginning of the year for Russian students is always associated with winter session and long-awaited holidays, but the university life is full of interesting events. About the brightest events of the first month of 2014, we will tell you in our news kaleidoscope. 18 ambassadors of African countries visited Kazan Federal University. The delegation arrived in Kazan to discuss training of highly qualified staff in Kazan Federal University for Africa. To do this, the guests met with the leaders of the university as well as see its infrastructure and logistics base. During the meeting, there was reached an agreement on the establishment of the African Studies Center in Kazan Federal University. Scientists and experts from African countries will work in this center. The visit was ended with countrymen students meeting. I was very, very impressed by the number of African students in your university. This is the proof of uh, the good relation between Russia and Africa. So, uh, for me, I think that uh, after discovering what we saw at this university, for us now is a challenge to send more students here. This year, Kazan Federal University will be even more attractive for foreign students. Since September 2014, some disciplines will be in English. First of all, it involves subjects of natural science profile. Another innovation will facilitate the learning process for students. All lectures given at the university will be available to everyone on the Internet. Analog of the Open Courseware project will work in full force at the beginning of the next year. Now it is realized on the basis of two universities' units, the Institute of Physics and the Institute of Fundamental Medicine and Biology. At the first meeting of the International Scientific Council of Kazan Federal University, it was told about the necessity of the university's internalization. This advisory body was created last year for more effective realization of the development of Kazan Federal University until 2020. Leading scientists and experts became its members. Some of them couldn't arrive in Kazan, but it didn't prevent them to participate in the discussion of the prospects and the development of science in the university. The president of RIKEN, Japan's largest research center, Rose Nori, spoke with participants via video. The Nobel Prize as we congratulated with successful defense of the roadmaps. I've seen you are shaping a very good um, research profile into several priority areas, which is very important. But um, also, I mean, your university education and teaching is very important. And if you look into the key, I mean, uh, main global players, very famous universities like Harvard, MIT, Oxford and so on, also the I mean, teaching reputation is very important. So. I collaborate with Kazan University for three years and the progress that is made during this time is impressive. January is very impressive for students because they celebrate their favorite holiday, Students' Day. This year wasn't an exception. Students were onlookers at a bright show with bright events. They visited the show with the participation of the city's best dance teams and the university's pride, the participant of Eurovision 2013, Dina Garipova. Sky, sky, sky.